this morning. But first, many are working to help prepare for flooding in areas just north of Charleston. Yeah, crews are working around the clock, filling sandbags, trying to create barriers to try and stop or at least slow down some of these floodwaters. News 2's Temple Ricky is live for us this morning in Plantersville. Temple, what can you tell us about what's going on there? Brad, right now the goal is to keep roads open for as long as possible. Now, this is so first responders are able to get through as well as ship supplies through. And so people trying to evacuate can leave. Now, if you take a look where we are right now, you'll see that water is starting to come up on the road. This is Henry Road, and it's right off of North Fraser Street. Go ahead, take a look to my left. You'll see that a nearby creek is starting to overflow onto the road, and it's expected to continue rising throughout the day. Now, the Department of Transportation is in daily communication with emergency service providers. Crews are still setting up barriers in Georgetown near Highway 17 to minimize damages, but residents should expect multiple road closures and detours. Now, on Tuesday, the Georgetown County Sheriff's Office issued an alert warning people not to drive past barricades that have been put in place. With water levels steadily rising over the past few days, residents say they are ready to deal with whatever may come. Uh, well, we picked up a couple of sandbags earlier because we were um, the emergency commission people let us know that we needed to kind of just get some sandbags just in case because of the creek that's rising maybe towards our house. We're told that rivers in the area have started beginning to crest, and we'll keep you updated as we learn more. Live in Georgetown County, Temple Ricky, count on two.